guys, welcome back. What we're taking a look at today is TFC Toys' craft series, CS01 Limited. So TFC Toys, they've done a ton of third-party unlicensed Transformers homages, but this time it's their completely original creation, and it's pretty darn cool. As you can see, um, aesthetically, it just kind of gives me movie S vibes while still keeping kind of a cartoon anime feel to it i do wish that when the movies first started what was it 2007 2008 that they would have went more this route instead of the ultra 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 realistic look but you know hindsight's 2020 and yeah focusing on this it's just darn good aesthetically now in terms of accessories really simple comes with single rifle here as well as a stand. Now, I'm sure you guys have noticed, I don't really do a ton of going over the box, besides when I do articles, just the presentation portion, but this one's really good. Good, thick cardboard, which is really neither here nor there, uh, as long as your figure comes safe for a lot of people, I'm sure. But what's really cool about this one is that not only does it have the magnetic opening, but inside here, it actually has well-drawn fiction to give an actual connection to the mecha, its pilot, etc. Really cool. And I can't read what it says, but just looking at it in terms of context, you can see that it goes over different characters as well as what looks like some of the different villains and monsters and things like that. So, not only, and I'll tell you guys in advance, is this itself a good piece, but stuff like this makes me excited for what's to come. So, definitely something to check out, uh, because I hardly noticed when I opened it, because it does a good job of staying closed, the comic, but once I did, I was like, holy shit. And look at that artwork, too. Like, just overall, this is, man, now this is a box. Okay. So giving you guys just a head-on view here. I say head-on and then I don't even face it at you guys. Make sure that everything's lined up. Right, that looks pretty decent. So yeah, standing straight up, no uh, heroic posing or anything like that. I have got about seven and an eighth inches tall to the tip of this antenna here. If you want to go to the back fin, we're looking at about seven and a quarter. Okay. Roundabout here. Really cool detail, and I love that part of it. Okay. Now, looking at the articulation here. These shoulder pads do have some movement. They don't super move out of the way, but there is a bit. And then this opens up on the side. So there's that. Um, the forward and back movement is blocked by this thing. There's no getting around it. These wings can all move in and out. There's some up and down movement on all of them. And the backpack, that's just how it transforms, but trying to separate the rings as much as possible to show you guys. But then there's that. So not a lot of movement loss because of that. 360 at the bicep. And this is a die cast figure, so die cast, blade and die cast in the elbows and knees. Now, in terms of heft, this one doesn't feel too super weighty. Not gonna lie. So don't expect it to feel much different than the right average plastic figure that you get, but there is die cast there. Okay. Double jointed elbows, and it almost touches the forearm to the bicep, which is cool. I didn't even go over the head. Head, just a simple ball joint, 360. And then the neck is on a hinge, so it can go up and down itself. And then the ball joint has some up and down movement too. So plenty of down, plenty of up, okay? Mm -hmm. 
We can look down a little bit. Now waist, 4360 at the waist. These two pieces, the side skirts here, do have some up and down movement, nothing crazy. Ratcheted thighs, and they're good close ratchets. I'm not the biggest fan, but these are okay because of how close the ratchets are, so you don't lose a lot of movement in between. Now, ratcheted knees too, which surprised me. And again, all die cast in there. You see the double knee joints. Even the outward is a ratchet too. It's a lot of ratchet. Okay, so there's that. And do not expect him to balance like this on his foot. Ankle joints, they're firm, but they're not as firm as needed for these heavier die cast parts. So the back and forth swing on the foot, you see that there's some toe movement there in the back as well. And then for the ankle tilt, plenty inside, not really much outside, okay? 360 thigh swivel. So in terms of just like, he's not exactly gonna be one that does a superhero landing like he's supposed to because he doesn't have ab crunch, which would have been great. Um, and honestly, this isn't necessarily a toy for whatever reason that I'd be prone to, but you know, Let's see if I can't get some. There we go. Yeah, that's just, it doesn't work for him like it does for some. Like you can get some decent angles and stuff, but yeah. So see you right there. Looks a little bit more jank, but if you bring the camera up some. Make it a little bit. It starts to look a little bit better. So, I mean, there's some playing that you can do and stuff like that. But that app crunch to help cinch it in would have been really nice. Okay, so just wanted to show you guys how his weapon attaches. So, there are these grooves. Right there. That matches up with a groove inside of his hand. And you can have his hand open or closed. And it slides on there pretty nice. But you gotta close the hand a little bit to do that. And it naturally kinda grips around it. There's that. I'm actually gonna move the figure back a little bit. Actually straighten out his legs. And that's on me right there. I didn't have the foot planted. Get the box out of the way. That's it. And I just want to show you guys how the stand goes too. So there's an area right here that the stand legitimately just plugs into. If I can find it. There we go. Really simple stuff. Get that out of the way. Now, a lot like the macro stands, you just flip this piece around. Now it becomes a basin stand for the jet mode. Okay, so here he is next to some various figures, some Transformers, a little bit of Macross Robotech. So this kit's concept, this is the 72nd scale, 72 scale VF1S. Um, this is the... Got Ryder Despotron from Make Toys to Cross Dimension Line, as well as Steel Core from Fans Projects Chimney. I know that it was Fans Project Defender to Salter. I don't really remember what line it is. And of course, it's like, I remember it being one of my favorite lines of all time. But yeah, the one with all of the Assaulter, Defender, all of those guys. Jeez, their big broadside and all that revolver. Now I feel so so bad it's been so many years i don't like it i don't like this feeling at all but anyway again he's about seven and an eighth inch uh, let's see where despotron comes to he's about seven and a half vf1s i'm not gonna well i'll do to the antenna i'm seeing hmm three eighths eight and three eighths inches so 
he's one that you can definitely put wherever you want to when it comes to that kind of scaling. It's pretty darn neat. Again, it's their own character, so don't really feel like you have to display it with your Transformers figures. Alright, and there's its alt mode, man. This thing is clean. I like it quite a bit. They did a good job with taking the... There's some obvious, I don't know what, like some panels and stuff like that that are present because of the transformation and the like, but I think the camo does a really good job of kind of covering that aspect up. Let's take a look at the front to back. Even visually, it's more than easy to fit inside of a detail for something, but just to give you guys something official, I'm going from the nose to the back here, and I've got about 10 and a quarter inches on the dot. So if you're looking for that length, but yeah. So, landing gear. Gotta move, move. These move out of the way on each side. I've seen some pictures where they were like, fuck it. And just kept the landing gear on while they had it on the stand, which is what we're about to do, but I'm not going to do that. It's really not that hard to get the landing gear back. Those panels here that I'm moving out of the way, those can be pretty tight now. Obviously, this isn't a transformation video, but just remember that these wheels turn around while taking them in and out. It's easier to remember taking them out because they don't look right, but when you're trying to put them back in, it can be a bit frustrating. Uh, you kind of lose sight. So I'm actually going to back the camera up here. See what we can do. There. Alright. And I do actually like that it points up at an angle. I mean, it's a flight stand. Okay, and again, it's pointed up here. Want to give you guys an above view too, but yeah, that's the alt mode. Really clean. Now I do wish that there was a way to peg the gun in underneath. It's really surprising that that wasn't included, but I mean, it's what it is. It still looks damn good, but it just sucks to kind of have to put the gun away over that when it feels like it could easily have been integrated. Like even if there was a peg hole under here or just randomly within the body but at the same time if you look at like macross stands and stuff like that they um have areas in the stand that are cut out so that when the gun's attached it can kind of go through so i wonder if it was more of an afterthought than anything but yeah, i'm not going to hold it against it too much but definitely one of those woulda coulda shoulda Again, this has been the review for TFC Toys, their craft series, CS01 Lubitant. Honestly, I really like this piece. The only nitpick that I personally have is the fact that it doesn't have the ab crunch, but outside of that, it's just a good articulated figure. It looks good. It's creative. The design on this, as I said, it's basically what I wish movie designs were. Because it's got that nice bridge between the more, I don't know what to call it, earthy, realistic designs, but still keeping that cartoon-esque aesthetic. It's pretty darn good. I like what they're going for with this, and I hope that they keep it going. That's a big thing, so come on, TFC. Give us more, give us more. But it's an impressive bot mode. Honestly, I'm not really into alt modes, but I think the alt mode's even more impressive. It's just plain clean. And more than anything, you know, it lets these companies 
just flex their creative muscles when it comes to showing what they can really do when they're not, I don't want to say hindered, but limited by having to create specific characters that have to look a specific way and have specific alt modes and things like that, you know, when they can actually do their own thing and just kind of sky's the limit. This is what you're seeing there. But again, TFC Toys, the craft series, CS01, Lumited, definite recommendation for me. Order yours at TF Source. Link will be in the description. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.